Oh my gosh. What did Jessica order? Just drop that right in there. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Well, good evening and welcome to the Contemporary Resort, where this evening we're gonna go to a, uh, a restaurant to eat because on this channel we do like to eat. And it just so happens we got a, a reservation for a new steakhouse type experience here at the Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World called Steakhouse 71. 71, of course, is 1971, which what it refers to is when Walt Disney World opens. So it's an, kind of a, a, an ode to the era back when it opened up. So it should be pretty cool. This is actually the old restaurant that was, that was the wave. It was really neatly themed and everything, but it definitely needed a, a refresh. They actually just finished refreshing the whole resort. Behind us, we have some really cool artwork. For a lot of the uh, contemporary designs when they were first designing this place. So that's pretty cool. Here's a little closer look at some of this concept artwork from when they were uh, originally designing or, or at least figuring out how they wanted to design a contemporary resort. So I think that's pretty neat. I do think that is cool that they have this up here. Got our table ready. Look at these cool pictures on the side of the wall here. Some old school. This must be from 1971 themselves. Wow, that's really, oh man, look at that one. That's really cool. Anyways, inside of Steakhouse 71. Well, we made it inside of Steakhouse 71 and it's pretty neat in here. I'll show you in just a second, but it's uh, very reminiscent of the, the wave. It's pretty much the same layout. They just changed it up a little bit. Like on the wave, they used to have like a wavy roof or a wavy ceiling. Now they got like the slats, straight slats. And they updated the, the lighting, like the light fixtures. I think they used to be like wavy looking fixtures, but now they're these guys. But it does feel very fancy in here. Well, looky here, we got a couple of appetizers that showed up. JR picked some of these 1971 onion rings. And then Jessica got this French onion soup. That sounds very steakhousey. So I think that's what you do at a steakhouse. Oh my gosh. Look at that, is that a chunk of cheese on the top? Oh my gosh. What did Jessica order? What has Jessica done? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Now, since there's no more bulba to deal with, <laughs> that's trash. More than so. <laughs> to take a quick snip of this, yeah. when Disney opens. My mom was actually in that picture when you were walking down the hallway no way. of the opening cast. That's and amazing. And when she used to bring me here, we would smell all the orange groves around. Ah. And that's just a reminder of what all this property used to be and what Walt wanted to protect when yeah. he bought it. Right. It is very orangey. It smells like an orange grove. So look at the size difference of these two drinks here. There's mine and then there's Jessica's. I guess that's how you do it. some of these onion rings. Get a little of that dip right there. Dip it in there. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. If you do an onion ring, you turn your frown upside down. You're right, JR. The sauce has a little bit of kick to it. I gotta remember, that is a spicy ranch. How you doing on that drink? He only brought one straw, even though it's supposed to be for two. So that's all you. On the other hand, we only got one spoon for this French onion soup, but I did have some of that and it is delicious. Like I like all the parts around the edge here where it's kind of crispy, where the cheese got burnt or whatever. That is really delicious. JR liked his first drink so much that he got a, another one, although he changed it up this time. He got this sherbet sorbet sort of punch type thing. Looks like some fruit maybe stuff on the bottom, some syrup, bubbly drink in the center, and then it topped off with a nice scoop of sherbet. Just to give it a, a little mix up, and that, that actually looks pretty cool. And it's got that really cool, like, barbershop straw coming out of there. That's a pretty neat drink. Things are getting serious over here. Ryan just came over and upgraded our cutlery to this a fine steak knife. And look at that iridescent pearlescent handle. 
That is fancy. That's gonna that's gonna cut some meat real good. I did not get a steak. I got a pork chop because it just sounded so good. And look at it. I think I chose wisely. That is a nice looking pork chop. And then got these garlic mashed potatoes. I got a red wine sauce to put on top of there. Jessica ended up getting the oh the filet mignon. Oh, that looks good. And some asparagus. And what kind of sauce did you get? Marinades. Marinades. And then Jr. got the New York strip. Is that right? Yeah, and some of that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese looks pretty good too. So I'm gonna use some of my fancy upgraded knife here to get into this. It's got bone in, so you gotta watch out for the bone. I think I'm gonna just kinda cut right along. You know what, I just might cut right through the middle there. Let's see if this tastes as good as it looks. It smells, I wish you could smell this. Get close, see if you can smell it. Get a big whiff of that. All right, let's try a little bit of that red wine sauce. Oh, got a little glaze on there. Oh my God. Mm. That is too good. Get a little of these taters. Put a little bit of this in there. Try that. Oh my God. This is delicious. Well, this is what we're left over with, which is a pretty clean plate. And just about a clean bone there. Uh, Jessica still has some, some drink to finish here. I'm so full. She's so full. She finished her meal, but yeah, the drinks, she still got some work to do on that one. JR still working on those uh, mac and cheese. But I have to say the food was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Like, it was so good. The, the pork chop was tender and juicy and just it had that char on it, which was super good. And the sauce, Jessica and JR, they really enjoyed their steaks as well. I think this is a very fine place to come and eat. The service is a step above the norm. Uh, and the food is just fantastic. Like, I, I don't know, it's really good. This place definitely gets a thumbs up from me and we will be back. Well, there was our table. Jessica's getting our last sip of that drink there. We don't want to waste too much of it, but you can see the inside of here, how it looks. It looks very nice. We're kind of along the back side of the uh, area here, but this was a really nice experience. We really enjoyed it, and we definitely will be back. All right, and then we're just walking out of here. And actually right in here is the lounge area where we had the old uh, blue rooms. No more blue rooms. We'll see you guys later. Oh, and there's the, the lounge here where you can hang out. It's definitely a different vibe, and I just got a glimpse of this. Look at that. That is Space Mountain. Now that's pretty cool. It actually matches my socks. Space Mountain socks. It matches those. I had to show you. Well, yes, that was Steakhouse 71 here, the new restaurant that took over the wave spot at the Contemporary Resort. And I think we, we, we definitely are gonna be back. I mean, we really like the wave and Steakhouse 71 just continues that tradition of being awesome and excellent. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yes, that was pretty cool.